are in my guest bathroom. We're finally ready for a little makeover. So I've been buying a couple of things here and there, slowly but surely accumulating all the stuff that I would need to decorate this place. And I think I'm finally ready to put it all together. So I wanted to bring you all along with me. It was on a budget, so most of the things that I bought were either on sale or thrifted. I will share at the end where I got everything and how much everything costs. I just give the bathroom a nice clean. <laughs> so we have a nice clean palette to work with. Let me show you all the before. It's a very plain blah bathroom. <laughs> It also doesn't get a lot of natural light because there's like two doors, like one that leads into a closet and then the next one that leads into the bedroom. So if those are even kind of closed off, no natural light will come in here. If they're both open, then some light will come in. But I basically just wanted this place to feel a little bit more airy and a little bit cozy so that even though it doesn't get a ton of natural light, it still feels like nice and relaxing in here. So definitely adding some greenery to liven up the place. Yeah, just like cozy textures and things like that. This was the only room Room so far that I've not made a mood board for everything else I always love making mood boards <laughs> just to get some inspiration but this one came together kind of naturally I just found a couple of pieces that I really liked whether it was a target or thrifting and I just kind of put it together inspired by those pieces so I hope you all like it and I hope it comes out nice <laughs> I guess we'll see decorating is definitely a work in progress and it's definitely a lot of trial and error so we're gonna try some things it might work it might not we'll see how it goes but you know if we we hate it or if we don't love it we can always come back and change it later on let me show you first everything that we have to work with okay and then in my closet i've just dumped everything that i have that we could possibly use to decorate so you can kind of see the vibe that i'm going for it's a lot of like neutrals a lot of cozy textures with this little rug also love natural textures so we have some wood pieces some wicker pieces the basket the trash can so hopefully that can add a little bit of texture to the bathroom and again some like light cozy vibes okay so first things first the shower curtain let's get started So this is the shower curtain that we're using. I got it from Target. It's the Threshold brand. And it's a really simple design. It looks a little bit like that blue white on the pictures and online, but it's actually a nice like off-white color almost, more like a creamy white than a bluish toned white. So it's really nice. It just has these simple little diamond designs. I thought that would be just fine. And I did get it when it was on sale. I think Target had like a 10% off bath and bedding. So I took advantage of that. And I also had a bunch of gift cards and stuff that I had gotten from the Target Circle offers. I'm an avid Target buyer, if you didn't know. <laughs> so I love using the Circle offers and all of that. And you actually can save a lot of money. So I don't remember how much it was, but I definitely did not pay full price. I'll put it up on the screen here how much it costs. But again, I'll do a cost breakdown at the end of the video so you can see exactly how much everything was. Okay, that already looks so much better than the other one. The other one matched the wall color like too well. So it kind of made everything all like drab looking. But like this, it's still like a creamy color and it's definitely obviously white. So it adds a lot of light to the room. I can even have it like fully open and it doesn't look weird. Oh, I missed one. <laughs> Let me get that one. So this is one of those pieces that kind of inspired the aesthetic of the room. I saw this rug at Target and I fell in love. I think it looks so nice. It's beautiful and it's super fluffy on the website it marks it as like a gray color but it's actually more like a green but i think it, it's absolutely gorgeous so it is supposed to be a bath rug but i found that it's kind of slippery so i bought this bath mat at a goodwill it was 2.99 i'm gonna put this underneath it that way it helps a little bit with the slipping And if you saw one of my Target haul videos, I bought this rug originally for my kitchen, but we're going to use it here in the bathroom because it was the perfect size. And I think it goes with the aesthetic and the vibe too. love how it looks with this vase it's kind of like too similar in shape to the trash can so they kind of like blend together so i'm going to try another vase let's see how it looks okay 
Okay, this looks way better. I don't know that I'm crazy about the color of the vase, but we're going to leave it like this for now. And then if anything, I can always maybe DIY a new paint job. <laughs> we'll see how it looks. the big guns because I'm too short. <laughs> are done and it's time for the big reveal. So yeah, I think it came out absolutely amazing, especially considering it was all on a budget. Tried to buy as little as possible. We really didn't have anything for this bathroom or really anything for the apartment in general, but <laughs> I think absolutely everything, everything except the circular shell was brand new or like new to us, right? Because some of the pieces were thrifted. But yeah, everything except for that shelf we bought specifically for this bathroom because we didn't have anything. So now I'll walk you through all the different pieces and let you know how much each was and we'll do a breakdown of how much it cost. Okay, so this one I just found on Facebook Marketplace. It still has its original tag on the bottom. It was $64.99 and I got it for $15. So that's a steal. This little wicker tray liner placemat thing <laughs> I got it was a set of two for a dollar and actually this was one that I thrifted in Miami then this I bought specifically for the apartment it was a set of two and it's from blue land it's refillable soap so you basically buy the little tablets and then you dilute it in some water and it makes foaming hand soap so this was probably a bit more expensive as a startup cost I bought a set of two of them and it came with a ton of soaps and we haven't even gone through the first tablet yet and we've been here two months I think it's gonna last us a really really long time i'll put the price up here because i don't remember it off the top of my head then this amber bottle is from my local refill store i just bought some hand lotion for the guest bathroom i think this is probably one of the more expensive items but we really wanted to support our local refill store so i think the lotion and the bottle was 20 dollars. you could probably find a soap bottle thrifted or cheaper at target or somewhere else but like i said we really wanted to support a local refill store so we splurged a little bit on this then this 
candle was from our Target. It was $3. This cup was from Hobby Lobby. I got it on sale. So I think it came out to about $4. This rug was one of the few things that I paid full price for and it was $20. So this I bought a set. It was two large bath towels, two hand towels, which are over there, and then two smaller face towels, which are in the basket. So that entire set was $20. I think I got it at TJ Maxx. And then this basket my mom thrifted for me. Then this vase I just got recently from Facebook Marketplace. It was $20. The waste bin was from Target. Then these fake pampas grass I got at Hobby Lobby and they were all on sale. So each one was originally $20, but I got them for $10 each. So about $30 on the pampas. This cute little floral frame I also got at Hobby Lobby. I think it was 50% off. So I think it came out to like six or seven bucks. Then in our little basket, I just have the two hand towels that I mentioned from the set, some bath salts that are also from our local refill store, the jar of matches that I found at a thrift store. I think that was a dollar. And this <laughs> little book, This Number Two Shall Pass, that came with our Tushi Bidet. The Tushi Bidet was completely optional. I'm not gonna factor that into the bathroom makeover because it was not part of it. And I made a video about installing them. So if you're curious, I'll tag it. This was the only piece that we already had before this makeover. I think I thrifted it for 20 or 30 bucks. Then these thrifted prints. So it was actually a set of three, but we have one of them in our room and each of these was $9.99. The rug I mentioned I got from Target. I don't remember how much it cost because like I said, it was a 10% discount, but then I used a ton of gift cards and other circle points and offers that I had. So I'll put the actual price that I paid for it right here but it was very cheap. And the same thing goes for the shower curtain. And then in here, I just have a bottle of conditioner. I also have another bottle of conditioner that's about to run out. So I'm waiting for that to run out so I can buy some shampoo at the refill store to add here. And then we have the little soap holder, which was a dollar at the thrift store. And then our little plant that was from Hobby Lobby and I got it on sale. So I think it was like six or $7. And then the little mirror at the entrance. This is actually secondhand from a friend. She sent it to me from michigan <laughs> so that's it that's the whole bathroom i think it looks absolutely amazing it looks exactly how i wanted it to look so i'm very happy <laughs> you know things don't normally come out the way you see them in your mind so this came out great and it was under a budget i'll put the total cost for the project here <laughs> once future Amaya edits this video and adds it all up. But I think it came out great and it's making me excited to get the rest of the apartment decorated and looking this nice and cozy. But yeah, thank you for joining me on my bathroom makeover and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Bye. Bonus clip, we're getting Jordi's reaction to the bathroom. All right, come in, come in. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's an impressed wow i can tell it looks better than i thought i like the yeah you're liking the aesthetic the vibe oh yeah, loki big, likes uh, it <laughs> big jar over here who hung who, who hanged hung, who, who, who hung who, did it who hung it this piece very beautiful <laughs> thank you thank you yeah, do you like good. it you know what that jar yeah. there doesn't look bad yeah I told him we tested it out and he didn't like it, <laughs> but I think you're coming around. It was, I didn't like it with the... With the pampas? The trigo, yeah. The trigo. <laughs> Loki really likes it and that's all that matters.